It's Saturday, July 19th. Let's play the booster box game. Box number one. Can we get $100? How does this game work? I'm about to break open a booster box within 24 hours of launch and see if I can immediately sell enough cards to get $100, which is what I paid for the box. If I can sell enough cards to get $100, then I will do so immediately. Then take that $100 and buy a second booster box. I will keep doing this until I break a box where I can't get to $100. Will I break open 10 boxes or only one? Let's find out. I'm going to go fast here. I'm only showing the foils, rares, and mythics, and I am only showing prices on rares and mythics. For the purposes of this game, I will not be using TCG Player average prices like normal, but instead, I'm using eBay prices at the lowest available buy it now price. This is because I'll need to sell these cards as soon as possible, because on almost all of them, prices will likely be dropping each day after launch. That means I need to sell these cards as low as the lowest available price on eBay at buy it now. So remember, these prices are right after launch, and they are the prices I saw on eBay literally minutes after filming this video. Thank you. 
Wow, this is highly unusual. Getting two of the same Planeswalker within the same booster box? While obviously not impossible, this is highly, highly unlikely. It's going to cost me about $2.50 per item that I ship out. This is because I need delivery confirmation, envelopes, postage, things like that. Because of this, the cards that are a dollar or two dollars simply aren't going to be something I can reliably sell and profit off of. So this was a very good booster box. By selling only five cards, I recoup what I paid for the box. Shipping and handling costs, I'm going to say, are about $2.50 per item, so I also am able to recoup $12.50 for shipping and handling costs. I listed them Saturday at the prices listed here, which at the time were the lowest on eBay. They were sold by Monday morning. I have essentially just gotten the remaining rares from Booster Box number 1, as well as all the commons and uncommons, for free. I can quit now, but that wouldn't be much fun. This is the Booster Box game, remember? I waste my money so you don't have to. So I shipped out the cards and drove from the post office down to my local game store where I used the funds from selling those five cards to buy booster box number two. Let's see what I got. Keep in mind that it is now Monday. Prices have already dropped on some of these cards and the prices I am listing here are what I am seeing as the lowest cost for these cards as of Monday afternoon. Thus, some of these prices are different from box number one.
Looks like I won't be making it to box three. Well, I did make it to box two. In order to do so, I had to sell off most of the value from box one. It was a hell of a gamble, and box number two could have easily been my first box. I still maintain that buying singles is the best way to get the cards you need. I was incredibly lucky to get the foil sliver hive and two garooks. Keep in mind that hundred dollars could have bought me a playset of garooks, or three nissas. I bet within a few weeks it could have bought me a playset of nissas. Remember, whether buying boxes or singles, be sure to spend that money at your local game store whenever possible. You can't play magic at Target and Walmart.